I'm Jason Perry, I'm a record producer and today I'm at ACM and we're going to be talking about making records, making music. The bass player from The Who, a guy called John Entwistle, said if you're trying to get a record deal you don't deserve one. And I remember it was just like someone punched me in the face because I was trying so hard to get a record deal. It's all that mattered to me. I didn't have a life, I didn't have any money, I never had a girlfriend, I didn't have any friends. It was just music, music, music. I lived and breathed it. And he said, he told me I don't deserve to get one. It's so easy for you to say that. You're a millionaire, rock star, in your big castle. How dare you? And I went to bed and I remember waking up the next morning and I woke up and was like, he's right. I don't, it just, it was one of those moments you have in life, probably the only moment I've ever had in life where I've actually used my brain. I was like, I was like, man, he's right. Why, why am I trying to get a record deal? Like, why am I trying so hard? Do you think Johnny Cash tried to get a record deal? Do you think Paul Weller tried to get a record deal? Do you think The Clash tried to get a record deal? Do you think Prince, Madonna? Like, every record company came to her and tried to sign her. They weren't going around flogging demo tapes to people. And it was one of those moments. And I remember I ran up to my brother's room and went, we've got to stop everything. We're like, all we're trying to do is be liked. Why are we trying to be liked all the time? Forget it all. And we did, and within three months, we'd, off, we'd got nine record deals on the table. Within the space of three months, so we just started again. And we wrote loads of songs, and we recorded them really quick, and we used our personality, and we made our personality come through. So my background as a performer really does influence my work as a record producer, because I, I can kind of speak both languages and speak both sides of the desk. So I can speak the language of the record label and the manager and also I know how it feels to be the other side in the band and that's the most important side. I try and break down those walls all the time. It's all about the band, how they feel, where they are, whether we're having fun. I think the main thing I learned when I was in a band because I was a singer is that I hated vocal booths and I hated to be the guy stood in the vocal booth feeling like you've been watched by everybody and this thing here, wherever it is on this desk, the talkback button is the worst thing in recorded history and to me is the, is the worst piece of equipment in a studio. Mm -hmm. So I always do vocals here if I'm in a studio and the singer is next to me and they're either standing up or sitting down and the rest of the band can be around and I can punch them and tickle them and push them and they can throw water at me and, and we can just communicate like people, not like that was a good one, do me another one. Um, so that's the main thing I learned about you know, performing and being in a band and I just feel like I'm an extra member of their band for the day or the hour or the month or the year and I'm just there to help them do whatever they want to do.